What is going on, you lunatics? Guess what? It happened. Luna Classic is up about 15% on the day, continuing to surge. And guess what? Uh, it got a nice little surge. And then where did it retrace? It retraced exactly to where I said that it was going to go. And in fact, if you look at it, we talked about it yesterday, exactly where it was going to go. If you like this type of content, make sure you hit the like button on your way in. Let's go. All right, so uh, where did we go? We came over to the top of this range right here. Back tested successfully yesterday on the uh, uh, on this descending channel. Where did I say it was going to likely go? Up into this range where the volume is. Where did it go? Exactly where the volume is. Settling back down at the 236 line. This does indicate that we are in play right now for a continued surge into 3016 to 301867. Now, if you want to get technical about it, there's going to be a little bit of resistance that comes in right here at this 0.5. So, uh, and and I hope that you guys can see this. I'm not sure that you can, but uh, you're going to have to give me, uh, for this, there's a node range kind of right there showing a lot of volume in that spot. And that checks in just right under that 0.5 line. So if that surge happens, it's going to probably go to the lower portion of that. Uh, so this is uh, this is the start the start of what you guys have been waiting for. So um, what does that mean more broadly to uh, this ecosystem? Well, I, I think this is an anticipatory surge. I don't know that there's anything really backing this in an appreciable way. Uh, when you look around, you see a good amount of burn today so far, uh, but you don't see anything on USTC. So um, this is just. The, the market reacting to opportunity, maybe it's the middle of the month. Uh, USTC also uh, consolidating in this range. Now, here's what I want to say about USTC. If you really kind of break this down, I mean, it's really nothing more than a flag being played out over this little range right here. And I think that that's significant because it looks like a, a consolidation pattern for a, an actual breakout. That actual breakout has some potential to only go to 3.6, but more broadly, I think it's going to go to about 6.3, 6.4 cents. And then if we successfully test that, it's going to be a breakout. So, um, you know, Shout out to all you guys. Uh, you've been holding for forever, and you're finally starting to see a little bit of recovery and a little bit of a move in a positive light, and I think that's a great thing. So uh, as far as Luna goes, by the way, look at Luna. Luna soared up to about 56 cents as well. So um, it's the entire ecosystem here, even though, look, it's a different ecosystem, but it's still part of that ecosystem because it's still part of the same developers created it. So um we got to call it for what it is. So uh, you're seeing that big time play out. By the way, RSI overcooked. So I would expect some retracement there. Same thing here and same thing. Well, you know what? USTC might have some room to grow. Uh, you never know. Um, MACD ch just flipped positive on USTC. MACD is surging on uh, LUNK. So, you know, let's see what happens. Now, the only thing really out here is the crucial coin market cap proposal. And... What did that mean over here? Nothing. I don't see any kind of big, big, big moves, but I do see uh, 291 million in volume happening. Uh, I do see 89 million in volume happening. I don't see, you know, I don't see any big move there. I don't see an update here from Terraform Labs. We got Diamond Hands out here talking about it. We don't really see a reason for the surge. People are just deciding to ape in. So, uh, you know, maybe this is, uh, you know, maybe this is just the start of something uh, bigger and better happening. And by the way, let's kind of zoom out here for just a second. Let's go back to the top holder wallets. Uh, let's look at, you know, where can we get some burn from? What we're looking right now, Terraform Labs, 290 million USTC, 1.8 million or 1.8 billion um, uh, Luna Classic. And when we just kind of move around and we just kind of look, then we don't see uh, there's no reason for this. So this could be some early Donald Trump has won the 2024 election and will be your president. The first pro crypto president Bitcoin currently trading at around $87,000. This is the ideal moment for effective management of your own investment portfolio since 2019. Cryptonomy has experienced exponential and substantial growth with revenue closing near 2.4 billion euros and insurance coverage of up to 6.1 billion on all company assets. Now listen guys, the big move here for me in my fixed staking pool, I'm going to go all in on a little bit more XRP. I've got 5,900 XRP right now. I'm going to go into the nine month for 71% return. We're going to continue. 
We staked close to 6,000 XRP just now with a 71.8% return over nine months. This launch pool is blowing up. As you can see right here, open serve just went 7X getting a significant yield off of that. We got 1.9 on Satoshi Dex. We had a 2.58 on Tap Protocol, 2.1 on Talent, 3.1 on Cross. All right, guys, we're going 10 Ethereum into a bronze tier contract end date November 12, 2025. I expect to make a return of at least a decent amount, 50% profit sharing. When we got that last one, it was 7X. So I'm going to assume here that this is going to be a real good play. If you haven't already, don't forget myself, Dean DCA, Clint. Lift Capital, Aaron Burke, we're all doing articles uh, for this organization. So if you are interested in learning a little bit more about cryptocurrency, then this is the place to go. You want to go to cryptonomy.finance slash research. Also, if you haven't already, sign up for their Telegram. The links are in the descriptions down below. And in the next two weeks, there's going to be a couple of big updates brought to you by all of us regarding cryptonomy.finance. Start investing now. Well, let's call it this. There's a real possibility something big is on the horizon concerning Binance, not we should we should be very specific about this um, concerning Binance. Um, there there might be some kind of initiative that they're about to kick off. There's been a lot of leaks and rumors that have been circulating around Binance for a little while. Not specific to Luna Classic, but when they're listing meme coins, stuff like that. So uh, there's a real and distinct possibility that somebody leaked something when it came to Luna Classic. So we might be looking at a continuation of a surge if that's the case. And I don't know what it is. I, the only thing that I can think of that it would be would be a burn, you know, that they've decided that they're going to burn some sort of larger amount or something like that. And some insiders found out they started buying, people saw that, then they started buying, but I don't know what it is yet. And, you know, we can't say until we really see something happen. So I have no idea what it is that's causing this surge right now. Uh, and as I look around, you know, at best, you know, um, XRP is surging. Uh, that, that doesn't make any sense. Um, H bar is surging. That doesn't make any sense. The graph is surging. Doesn't make any sense why, you know, that, how this applies to Luna Classic. So I don't really see any reason for a surge in this context. So uh, somebody knows something, so we'll see how this plays out. Speaking of playing, um, Luna University of Louisville Cardinals are taking on the Stanford Cardinals. Cardinal versus Cardinal today. So if you want to wager on that, then this is the place to do it. TerraCasino.io for all your risk-based gaming needs. Multiplier Rush is on tap for the day. Also, they're giving away 2 million euros between now and December 22nd. And then um, these are all the, the different cryptos, specifically XRP, guys. If you're if you're surging and your XRP is growing exponentially right now, this is your time. This is your moment to do something. So uh, if you want to uh, put out some XRP and start playing, then sign up. There's a link in the description down below. Look for Terra Casino, and then you can sign up there. Also, we just re we just uh, reloaded here on our. Uh, staking, we're at 10,765 Terra. Uh, we got five in rewards. Uh, we're doing it again for 14 days. So that's all we can do. We can't get these higher rates up here. But um, the launch pad says that we now have 8783. So a couple more days and we'll be ready to go and we'll be able to uh, farm a little bit of selenium. And uh, yeah, I mean, you should be you should be doing it. And uh, when we go around here, we got BLV's spend proposal here. BLV Labs first proposed. Um, for the to improve the governing module uh for right now um 74 no and 17 percent abstain again if you're ever looking to decide what you want to do then or who you want to validate and stake with then moon runners voted no on this i don't know what that means i don't know who um i don't, I don't know what to look it up figure it out you know what i mean now, as far as proposals in Commonwealth, nothing new. Uh, but look at the surge over here. My wallet, which was 1,250 yesterday, is up to 1,500 today. It's because of Luna Classic. It's because of food kicking it up a notch. And Cat with Hat kicking it up a notch. Garuda X, by the way, uh, 25,000 kicking it up a notch. Uh, went from 40 to 59 dollars. So Garuda X up 25 percent on the day. The Boys is up 10 percent on the day. Um, everything's having a little bit of a recovery. Juris Protocol up 13 percent on the day. Uh, Lunk to you. STC pairing is up on the day. Terra is up on the day. So uh, we're, we're finally getting a little bit of a breakup. But this is minor, by the way. This is just the start. This is just the buildup. This is just the FOMO. Uh, you know, see if we can create something out of it. So um, 
Guys, the next surge, by the way, uh, for Luna Classic in the event that we actually get that surge, remember, uh, just to give you this breakdown one more time, is into this golden ratio. That doesn't mean that it's going to stop there. That doesn't mean that we're not going to get a surge into this 786 number at 30 zeros 2187. doesn't mean that we're even going to get there. Just this is what the chart says will happen along the way. This is not saying that this is... Um, uh, locked in stone but the big test is going to be right up here at the top on this impulse move and it's going to be at three zeros 2585 now successful testing of that gives us a big time breakout to test this all-time high to test this high volume range up here which by the way this is a fib retracement and you can see how perfectly it matches up with this volume node right there so guys there is a distinct possibility that we are in the, the realm of a real breakout here. So uh, we'll keep you informed as best we can. Just be watching and uh, let's see what happens. This is not financial advice, but I'm always right.